All right. Uh, I think it's been quite some time since I <clears throat> got in front of the camera and Amy and I just kind of felt like we should do a little update, kind of a year end review type thing. But first off, we just want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts. I mean, we have seen just so much support from friends and family, um, clients, past clients. It's just been really, really encouraging to see how how much community there is still today, um, which is really the bottom and basis of why we why we got into business for ourselves. I'm constantly coming back to the fact that our passion is to just meet people, to hear their stories, to hear their story a little bit, to be a part of their journey, um, either if it's through photography or some other way that we can help out. So I'm sure a lot of you know already by now that I started roasting coffee this year. That has been probably a pretty fast-paced progression of things. Um, when I quit my job in 2018, is that's really when I started um, getting really passionate about coffee. But I hadn't started roasting until earlier this year. And I immediately, just right off the bat, fell in love with it. It was really, really fun. And the biggest thing I realized was it completely changed the way I experienced coffee. We will actually officially be wholesale coffee roasters um soon <laughs> we have gotten approval from the city and we will be working through the department of agriculture and through the city to get things going um, we will be roasting in our home still but it will be for the purposes of wholesale so we'll be able to put our coffee in a retail shop so the owners can sell that or <clears throat> maybe supply coffee shops for their own purposes. But we're still obviously going to help out friends, family, whoever wants to you know, connect with us on a personal level and we can talk to them about coffee and help them you know, experience it the way we've experienced it, which is amazing. We're continuing things the way we've been doing. You know, we're still gonna do weddings, I personally will be working pretty heavily on marketing myself as a commercial photographer as well, um, helping out small businesses, even larger businesses with videography, uh, product photography, headshots, um, which is something I haven't done in the past too much. but. We are getting to a point where we've realized that we have some skill sets that we, we need to be sharing with people. Um, and we're kind of learning that coffee is one of those things. We're still very, very passionate about weddings. We have just been so blessed and honored with all the opportunities that wedding photography has given us. We want to get to a point where we're not doing a wedding every single weekend. Um, plain and simple, we just don't want to get burned out with weddings. We want to get to a point where, frankly, we don't have to rely on weddings as our main source of income. We want to make sure that the weddings that we do, we can give our full attention to the bride and groom. One of the main reasons weddings are so important to Amy and I and we're so passionate about them is it's the beginning of a marriage. And <clears throat> we just don't take that very lightly. Um, marriage is a very, very difficult thing to keep. Um, it's a lot of work. And we view the wedding day 
as the same thing. It's a lot of work to us. It's a lot of work for the bride and groom. It's a very, very long day for everyone. And if Amy and I are coming into the wedding day still focused on last weekend's wedding with editing or follow-up emails or any kind of lines of communication, we're not focused on the day of for the new client. And that's, that's something we've kind of started to realize that, that might happen. Um, and we, that's the last thing we want. We always want the day of each and, each and every individual client to feel like and to just know that we're giving them our full attention. So with that said, uh, we will always have a, a really special place in our hearts for weddings, uh, for photography, for videography. Capturing those special moments is, I think it's always going to be very honorable for us. And we want to keep it that way. We want to know that every time we do a wedding, we, we feel that same way. We feel honored and we feel very special that we got chosen to do a wedding. And on top of all that, um, now we have coffee. We have coffee roasting, um, commercial photography and videography that can kind of fill in the gaps and we don't know where it will take us. Just like we didn't know where weddings would take us. But we really look forward to the new opportunities and connections that we will make, uh, especially in 2020. We just hope that uh, we can help out in some way. And we hope you guys will follow us along with the journey. Um, I will definitely be making more videos. Uh, as much as I really don't like to be in front of this camera, I would rather be behind the camera, as you know. But I, I will be making a point to be in front of the camera more, to show you guys little steps along the way. Um, I'm really, really excited, actually, about the new room that we're going to make just for roasting. And we'll be giving lots of updates on the construction of that. Um, the roaster that we're probably going to buy actually hopefully very soon more about that later kind of keeping it under wraps but i've been roasting on a home built machine um i mean i think i think a lot of you know that i've been doing that but i haven't been showing people um because i have major ocd slash insecurity issues so um but I'll give you guys a little bit of a preview and teaser of where that machine is at. It, it's gone through. I can't. I can't even tell you how many changes it's gone through. But it's. It's been an ongoing uh, love-hate relationship um, this this summer and this fall. All right. Here is the terrible looking. Franken roaster is what I call it. That is some black plumbing pipe with a heating element right there and right there. Kind of attached to so that's a speed that's a little speed controller for one of my heating elements. And in there is a air blower that blows forced air through these pipes. And the heating elements heat up the air, which gets blown through the top. And after all that, after all that is done, that is the roasting chamber. So this glass tube, I don't know how well you guys are going to see this. There we go. That glass tube holds all the coffee beans inside. 
and gets circulated with the hot air. And over time, the hot air cooks the beans until they're done, essentially. Uh, I got a lot of other cords and gizmos and things like that attached to it for monitoring temperature. It looks very horrendous and ugly, but plans to build a nice looking enclosure just to kind of make it look pretty. And yeah. So yeah, more videos, more coffee, um, more weddings for now, and just uh, just more community. Thank you.